Hey everyone, welcome to another video and in this one I am going to show you how we can host React.js application using Caddy on Ubuntu server. For me, I have already created this server. If you haven't created, create your own server. Make sure that you are using Ubuntu 22.04 which is the LTS version. Uh, LTS is basically latest stable release. Okay, that's what we should use and uh, you can use any cloud providers account to create this particular server for me i am using digital ocean okay so without wasting time let's get started let's copy this particular ip address open the terminal and do ssh login so ssh root and ip address right so if you are creating server on the uh let's say aws or something you should add the ubuntu username here rather than root because that's what that server creates right so once you type the password, uh, you should be inside the server. So let me clear my screen and let's do go ahead. So first thing we need to do is we need to add the DNS record for React JS application. Okay. So for me, I'm using DNS from the Cloudflare. It might be possible that you are using DNS of the GoDaddy or Namecheap or any other like Google domains. Okay. So let me. The record is already there as you can say react is already there okay but uh, this ip address is old and it's outdated it's not uh, exist anymore so we need to copy this new ip address of the our server and paste it right here and we need to save this particular uh, record okay so in order to make sure if this record is updated or not we will just go to the our terminal right here and we will execute dig command dig react dot one yt dot in and it should show our original ip address of the server so as you can see it is showing 139 and 225 at the end and as you can see this is exactly my ip address of the server okay great so once that is done let's move ahead and uh, move with the react part okay so first thing first hence we are uh, deploying with the caddy we need to make sure that caddy is installed for that you can use this particular command curl firefly.in caddy dash ls dash bash so this is basically uh, the caddy script and this is the command to install it okay so for me i have already installed it so that's why i will just skip this particular part okay so once the caddy is installed clear this screen so make sure that you are hitting the enter right here and you are installing the caddy so once the caddy is installed what we need to do is we need to install node on the server because remember we are deploying the node.js application right it is react.js application but it requires the node to run so, okay so rather than installing the specific version of the node i will recommend installing the nvm on the server so what is nvm nvm is basically utility by which we can install any version of the node let me show you so this is the command to install nvm hit enter and it shouldn't take too much time and as you can see the nvm is already installed so either we can restart the server or we can just do a source uh, tilde bash rc and clear the screen and if you do nvm dash h yeah nvm is installed okay so by using nvm you can install any node version okay let me show you so if i do node list as you can see, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I, if I do nvm list, it should show all node version. So right now, uh, not many versions are displayed here because we haven't updated yet. So let's do ahead and let's do nvm install node, which will install the latest stable version of the uh, node. Uh, as you can see right here, stable version. And the stable version of the current uh, node is 21.6.1, right? But if you do NVM and if you do a list, you will get list of the node stable version from the past so that we can install any version. Like suppose I want to install node, let's say 16. Then I will just copy this particular thing and I will say no NVM install and then I will paste this particular and it will install and use it also, right? So this is how you can switch between the node version. So that's why I like the NVM. So for we, uh, we have already installed node 21.6.1. Okay. So once it is done, uh, next thing we need to do is we need to copy the GitHub repository that I have created. So basically I have created sample react project that we can host. So this is the GitHub repository for that. And we are cloning into the www dash uh, slash uh, uh, 
sorry slash var slash www react sample in this particular directory so let me enter and it's already done so in order to confirm i will just copy this part i will cd into the part and if i do ls as you can see the project is there so if i do ls my react as you can see all files are there so next thing we need to do is we need to cd into the project okay cd my react project and if i do ls the package.json file is there okay so make sure that you are in the same path right here so once that is done we need to do npm install okay so that should install all uh, npm packages necessary to in order to run our projects right so let's give some time because it might be possible that if there are heavy packages from the npm or if you have too many packages in your project it will take a little bit time to install the npm packages right so next thing we need to do is we need to install the sir okay so for this we need to install using this particular command npm install g sir dash g is for installing the package on global level okay so let me hit enter and this also shouldn't take time and as you can see it is installed and after that we need clear this screen and if i do ls as you can see the node models package is already there that means packages are installed now we will build the project for that we need to do npm run build and hit enter and it should start building project and it will create basically the build directory for you uh, and it will create production level optimized build for your project if i do ls as you can see the build directory is already there next thing we need to do is we need to test uh, if our project is ready so serve dash s build listen port on 8000 so right now 8000 port wasn't available that's why it assigned this random port let me just click on it and if i open this on my new tab as you can see it is showing my website page that means it is working website is fine so let me do control c and let's try to deploy it using service so that you know it will be easy for our caddy in order to grab this particular uh, proxy or grab this particular port okay so let me clear the screen by the way to uh, remove this i do control c i press the control c okay next thing we need to do is we need to create the service file on the obvious location where the service file is there which is slash etc slash system d system and react service which is the our service name the react then we need to paste this particular service content i have already provided this content in the blog you can just copy from there and hit control s then control x uh, i don't think so i need to uh, you know explain this particular file but i will still do right now i am deploying as a root but if you are not deploying as a root you should change the username and w uh, basically the group name also right and yeah that's pretty much all important in the service file so once it is done we need to save and exit and then we need to edit the caddy file so this is where the caddy configuration is hosted by default so let me hit enter and as you can see this is the by default configuration i can just remove this configuration and add my own but i will just you know add my configuration just above that i will keep that configuration so so why we are doing 8000 here uh, 8000 port wasn't available back then right so we cannot just go with the 8000 so let me go back to my service file and rather than doing 8000 i will just say do 8002 right so let me control s then exit before making that let me make sure that 8002 is available yeah it's available okay so once that is done we need to edit our caddy file too so let me go ahead and edit right here 8002 so for you it might be possible that 8000 is available for me it's not because it might be something running in the background i don't know so once it is done uh, so as you can see in the caddy file i mentioned my domain name which is react one by dot in which is we already pointed on this particular ip address right so next thing we need to do is we need to system reload the daemon then we need to do enable this uh, uh, react uh, service then we need to start the react service once it is started we need to check the status so let me check the status and it is saying that it is failed okay so 
okay after debugging i found the issue the issue was in the service file so let me show you where so this is our uh, old as a start command and this is our new so in the new new one as you can see we are sourcing first the nvm then we are uh, making sure that it is using the right version then we are cd into the directory it is not necessary because we are doing here also uh, then we are basically uh, running the serve okay so let me just go below and see so we are running the serve the right version of the serve and this is be, uh, basically build and listen uh, listen command right here yeah, on the 802 port okay so that was the issue we are not uh, we wasn't sourcing the uh, nvm so that was causing the issue but right now if i do uh, status right here uh, as you can see the service is there and it is running fully okay okay so next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we are so we need to clear the screen we need to restart the caddy server so service uh, caddy restart so that should restart the caddy service and we will check the status of the caddy too in this case it is running completely fine okay so let's go ahead let's open the browser and open new uh, uh, new tab and react.1yt.in enter our domain name and that should show us our website okay so let's wait for some time okay so i did here spelling mistake so let me write type right one and as you can see the website is right here live so yeah this is how you can host caddy website or oh, sorry the react website on caddy server okay so that's all about for this video and if you have any question please do let me know in the comments and thanks for watching see you in the next